So if you guys have been following the Conor Ben saga, the whole stuff that's been going on on Twitter and his statement that he put out, you will have come to a conclusion just like I did. And the conclusion is this. In this world, you have this thing called the truth. And then you have this thing called your truth. And your truth is different from the truth, but it may not be wrong. Well, according to Conor Ben, I'm going to sort of side with him here because I'm going to give my truth on... <laughs> on a, a topic that may not be in line with the official truth but I still feel it's a valid argument and here's what I've got to say about it so my point is this Tyson Fury, Alexander Usyk they're going to fight each other for the undisputed heavyweight title of the world and that's just an assumption nothing has come out yet but surely like, where else are they going to go Like, so that fight's going to happen or at least for the sake of this video I'm assuming that, that fight's going to get made and they're going to fight so they're going to fight and on paper um, the winner is going to be undisputed heavyweight champion of the world and everyone's going to go around calling this guy undisputed and he's going to go around parading around like he's the best. Now, from a fan's perspective, how can he be undisputed? And from a fan's perspective, I mean my perspective. And what I'm saying is how can they be considered the best in the division when you have a man out there called the juggernaut, Joe Joyce, who's got 15 fights, he's steamrolled 14 people, he's got 14 knockouts. I think he's got like a 93% knockout ratio and he's an interim WBO champion of the world. So like a serious question for you guys, how can the winner of Fury Usyk be considered the best in the heavyweight division when there's a guy out there who's steamrolling everyone, who started his career late, he's literally like Daniel Dubois is this hot shot uh, interim champion or whatever, he beat the crap out of him, he broke his eye socket, he beat up Carlos Takam, he stopped Carlos Takam. Like the guy is impressive, Joe Joyce, he's done a number on Joe Joyce. You have to give this guy a shout of being one of the best in the heavyweight division. Like, he, he may not be the best. When the dust settles, he may not be the best. But the way I see it right now is he's definitely in the top five and he's a solid top five. Like, there's no, in my opinion, there's no doubt that he's the fifth best heavyweight in the world. Arguably third, arguably fourth, or first or second. There's, it has to be proven. Everyone else has fallen out of the running. Anthony Joshua lost to Usyk twice. He's fallen out of the running. Dillian White, bye-bye. Andy Ruiz was never in it, let's be honest. Um, Deontay Wilder, he lost to Tyson Fury two times. Joe Joyce is unbeaten, he's knocking everyone out, and he's a solid top five. The winner of Undisputed, in my opinion, needs to go see Joe Joyce to solidify their position as the best heavyweight in the division. I get it that on paper they will be seen as Undisputed, and even the history books will look kind on them or kindly on them. But ultimately, as someone who's on a ground level watching this from my, my eyes and in my perspective, I can't hand on heart call them the best in the division. Um, even though I, I can call them undisputed, but there's a dispute. You know, I can't say that this man hands down is the best in the division. Don't know if you guys saw my um, Bivol Baturbia video the other day or yesterday, I think it was. But I literally said that the, if there is a fight between them two, there's no disputes as to who the best in the division is. Because they really are one and two. And there's no other uh, potentials in the background that maybe are to beat either of them. It's literally these guys. They have a fight. The winner is the best. There's no dispute there. With Tyson Fury and Alexander Usyk, as far as I'm concerned... There will be a dispute should that fight take place, and I'm guessing it will take place. That being said, if Zili Zhang knocks out Joe Joyce on the 16th of April when they fight, then my argument goes out the window. But if Joe Joyce, again, as I'm predicting, he'll go in there, steamroll Zili Zhang, then that even, in my opinion, that gives even more credibility to my argument that there's definitely going to be a dispute should someone be crowned undisputed. And, you know, and that, that's that really. I mean, I don't know how you guys feel about it. By all means, as always, let me know your opinions in the comment section below. But if you're going to come in with that naive approach where it's like, oh, he owns all the belts, so he's definitely undisputed, there are no disputes, like, that's not really constructive. You need to come with more than, oh, he owns the belt, so therefore he's the best. There's that, like, I mean... <laughs> Charles Martin owned a, a belt at once upon a time. Was he the best heavyweight in the world? No, he wasn't. You know what I mean? So let's, let's apply a bit of rationale into this, right? If if the winner of Tyson Fury versus Alexander Usyk is going to be crowned undisputed in your eyes, give me a reason other than the fact that the person owns all the belts. I mean, because I could then turn around and say, well, I don't know, uh, Daniel Dubois is better than Deontay Wilder because Daniel Dubois is a champion. And then you expect no one to have any arguments because Daniel Dubois has got that belt. It doesn't make sense. You need to come with logic and rationale for the argument. So if you've got a valid argument to counter my argument regarding the undisputed claim that I'm making, by all means, let's hear it in the comment section down below. If you guys follow my comments, I'm always in there chatting with people, debating. There's comments that are like threads or 50, 60 comments deep. So I'm there. I'm happy to debate with anyone. Let's hear your arguments, man. We'll take you up in the comment section below. That's all I got for this one, guys. Let me know your thoughts. Like, comment, share, subscribe, or don't. I'll catch you on the next one. Love.